Yo, what's good? Don't flop one of a kind. We're here in the southwest of England, Bristol, the Jam Jar. Everyone here on a Saturday afternoon, make some fucking noise. Let's go! <laughs> Shouts out Mikey, see your main cam, big up the rest of the staff team, the tech team as well, big up all the MCs in the building, big up the venue for having us out. It's our first time here, I'm sure it's not gonna be our last. MC on my left hand side, third battle of the day from Cobb, his biggest yeah. battle yet to date on Don't Flop. We got Graphic Grammar, make some noise! Yeah. Right, and all the way from Malaysia on the right hand side in his best suit, yeah, St. Andrea, make some noise! Yeah. I don't even know if that's his best, I see you went. A lot no, of that's the best one, bro. That's... I'm not rich no more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Zane's first, yeah? We're first, man. Alright, appreciate everyone holding it down. We got round number one on Zane as well. Let's go. My jokes are much nicer. My head is mental. I'm dope as a writer. Don't test the devil. I'm Grenfell Tower. You'll get smoked because I'm fire on every level. Oh. Your dick's so ugly you make girls leave the first night. <laughs> You may, you must feel like Noah's Ark because your wood keeps the keeps the birds t uh, dry. Nice. I showed your girl the best. I showed your girl the sex of her dreams. Got, got her wet in her jeans. She let me bust on her face because my length was extreme. I had my. <laughs> this on camera, man. I had my kids everywhere because I'm my I'm hung to death like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Kids know you're a pedophile, but kids know you're a pedophile. Kids know you're a pedophile, but they're too scared to report the problem. Kids see you and hide in the fridge. Your dicks are Boris Johnson. <laughs> if you say any coronavirus or racist shit, it just proves your hate, you're hateful and proud. When your mom gave birth to you, Britain first gave them a crowd. When your, when your mom gave birth to you, her legs are like Brexit. One big split and you see all the racists come out. <laughs> Let's fucking go! So stay, so stay impartial. Get racial, I'll make this harmful. I'll smash this white guy and fuck off to Canada like Megan Marble. <laughs> Your mom went to my room and gave head to my crew. She's a shameless harpy. When your mom's pregnant with you, she's fucking, a, she's having sex with more dudes than a major army. <laughs> pregnant gangbang. Even Jeremy Corbyn wouldn't want to have anything to do with that labor party. <laughs> your, when your mom took up yoga, <laughs> yoga is a decent thing. When, when your mom took up yoga, she regretted her slutty, her slutty moves. She, 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 her moves aren't so smart. Your, your, mom, your mom's pussy is so big, she can't cross her legs because her thighs are too far apart. <laughs> your, mom's, your mom's life has come apart. She's Pornhub's rising lucky star. Guys were coming hard inside that, that ugly tart, giant tubby, tubby arse because that that your mother was drooling like a violent dumb retard. Your mom's a porn star midget. Your mom's a porn star midget. I'll rewind the funny part. His mom. His mom. His mom's so short when she gives hand jobs, it looks like she's climbing monkey bars. <laughs> When you take a girl to the London Eye, it's to show her classy living. I show your girl the London Eye because that's my dick ring. <laughs> <laughs> I know why Brexit boys don't get immigrants jobs they need. Your girl told my Asian mates to whip out their cocks and squeeze. The foreigners come and she goes tits up like the, Britain, the British economy. <laughs> but, these are, but these are all just jokes and simple wordplay. Her girl's got pubic life. 
I shouldn't fuck her in the first place. <laughs> that bitch lets her crabs do the talking like the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Time, 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 time. Make some noise, <laughs> That was the most political round I ever had. <laughs> that was fire. All right, grab it, grab it, start it off, bro. Yo, we ready, yeah? Yo, yeah, yeah. 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 it's Zayn has rise. Don't Flop's got me another overweight fat guy with a body shape that's like an inflated bagpipe. <laughs> it's like Urge trying to see me get eaten or something. It's like, it's like, who? Graphic grammar? I hate that guy. I'll get my payback right for when he was late that time. <laughs> so for my last two battles, I've been making fat jokes. And I must say, that's fine, because I can fit bear in the picture when the frame's that wide. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're thinking, great. Three rounds and some overplayed fat lines, but wait, hang tight, because there ain't that vibe. Y'all ripping on his weight is my laid back side. Because I've come for that win, so I brought some A class rhymes that'll take man's shine, turn his thoughts upside down, leave his brain capsized. I seen him battling with straight tap ties like he hates mankind, but I know it's all an act and you play that hype. Whereas me and my lads are real, it's time to face facts like my boy Ryan's a psycho and Jake's a mad guy. So basically, what I'm saying is, you'll never be as mental as Jake or as insane as Ryan. Yeah! Well, back to the fat bars. I'm like, look at this heifer. His stomach is mega. He could munch a 20 gallon tub on the teller for his supper whenever. <laughs> you look like an Asian nutty professor. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he stays away from summery weather because when he chafes, it's like sandpaper rubbing together. <laughs> and he hates dining in public. Even if he's cooking for something to eat. Man don't pull up a seat, this fucker will fill up his gut, stood up on his feet. He don't want to cause any more damage or come up with money to cover the fee because this grizzly bear has been through more chairs than WWE. <laughs> And honestly, mate, Let's I go. think you've made a common, mis common mistake by assuming that you're clashing with a novice today. I might be fresh and don't flop in its ways, but I'm far from new to this body and game. I'm demolishing Zane. I'm going to bring down his chopper and take him out the race like Colin McRae. Yeah. This is what I jot on the page. I promise I'm paying. I'm emptying this round off in his face and he ain't dodging these bullets like Boris the Blade. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it was worth the wait to finally reach the predetermined date for this invertebrate certain fate. I'm here to exterminate with words and raise the battle rap murder rates. You're just here to sound like a twat and deter the babes. So we're both like scarecrows, because I stand out in my field and you frighten the birds away. Uh. Yeah. So see me exert my rage like a heavy bruised banner. I'll murder the woosar and dead the goose frabber. Assassinate the mood when I execute anger. Tell me to relax, I'll switch and kill this Malaysian like Derek Zoolander. Uh. Yeah, time, time. Let's go, make some Let's go, Zane. I've seen your music videos. You're a typical. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't music, by You're a typical UK hip hop stereotype. It, you know this shit. You're like, I'm representing Coventry, UK hip hop with no limit. You, <laughs> you get stabbed. You get, you get stabbed in my ends because I'm a road man. I'm so vicious. But well, when you watch his music videos, there's like 20 guys in Halloween ma masks and no bitches. Jesus Christ. <laughs> when I fucked your girl, it was the height of emasculation. I put your girl in a I put your girl on a sex tape beyond your wildest imagination. Because she gave me head on camera like an ISIS decapitation. <laughs> so don't think your girl's faithful. I'll make her snap like the steel drills. Your girl would fuck two guys for one pint. That fact just feels real. One, dr one drink and she comes with a sandwich. Now that's a meal, dear. <laughs> So, I fucked your mom. Listen, it's not awesome. <laughs> I fucked his mom. Listen, it's not awesome. Every, all the guys who fucked her regret it. Her condition is a problem. I pulled my dick out of her pussy and I saw, help me, written on my condom. <laughs> Chill, chill. 
His mom sucks mad dick. You should see this loser react. Whenever I send his mom a dick pic, she uses the, the Uber Eat app. <laughs> and your mom, and your mom's not the, and your mom's not the only slut your family's got to lose. Your grandma's been played by more dudes than Doctor Who. <laughs> Your, grand, your, your grandma is known to deep throat my dick. She's like, she moans, I'm too old for this. <laughs> Thank God she's on a wheelchair. I told her, bitch, roll with it. <laughs> yeah, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 come yeah, on, man, come on, man. For now, it's okay. Yeah, okay, sweet, sweet. Right, sweet, let's go. Yo, so I went online, yeah, to check his battles. I thought I'd keep it relevant, but half a round into his speech impediment, and I didn't want to research anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I did check him out, and the truth is, this man goes raw when he's munching mangoes raw. <laughs> I heard he got caught masturbating to Nando's porn. Long, long story short, he had his lube right next to the Tabasco sauce and he burnt his bell end and banjo cord. He said he felt like if his dick was under a gas blow torch. Yo, and he's a vet in this battle scene, but I guarantee that I've had loads more pachos all around the country for years. Every munch I've had no pause. For the past six years, ah. And now I'm hearing this rap jokes war bringing Rambo foresight. Open up and elevate, no Lambo doors and rise up quicker than Django's draw. I'll tell this fat so your skill don't cut it right. You're a butter knife against my Hattori Hanzo sword. Yeah. Yeah. And this porky prick's been talking to the pigs like he's trying to speak gammon. Slaving for the bacon and working for the meat wagon. Try and take what's at stake, you'll get served more than a beef ration when you find yourself under the butcher's knife like Priest Valen. Yeah. And he's got a freestyle on YouTube, and it's shockingly shit. He rhymes, shocking with rocking, but the shocker is this. He rhymes, twice with nice, and reality with reality. After, op <laughs> after openly admitting that he's into bestiality. <laughs> I mean, that's insanity. I bet he's got a secret Samsung Galaxy with an encrypted image gallery that contains pictures of animal families, chimpanzee mammaries, and the horse's fallacy, which is he was that guy in Ali G. <laughs> And it's, sad to yeah. and it's sad to see that you can't rap a free or make a track on beat. You're just a flabby freak who's good for jokes in the battle league. Your talent's weak, so don't be surprised if I have to sneeze when this faggot speaks, because I've got allergies to whack him sees chat and breeze time. He says he can't, he says I can't freestyle. I'll make a girl dribble down my balls. <laughs> Then cock slap her face, she flies in the air. Don't believe me? That's a bicycle on the wall. <laughs> and everything you say about that freestyle was too true. But on the real, I still get more views than you do. And all your bars are kind of boring. You should reassess why your life sat. Girls fled with him and regret it because they hear this guy rap. I've never seen a woman regret hitting on a man this much since they gave Caroline Flack. Oh. I'm saying that's right! I don't flop on I don't flop ledger on some other shit. Or like Prince Andrew when they show him pictures of him with some younger chicks. I just can't believe you forgot who you're fucking with. Fucking with. And on the real, what I'm about to say is kind of serious. More serious than the quest to fight cancer. So, I want you to quiet your minds and switch off your mind's laughter. I saw your music videos. You wear a mask like a white gangster. You, I know you have an erectile dysfunction, but violence is not the right answer. <laughs> You're confused, because your friends tell you to take a chill pill, but your girlfriend tells you to take a Viagra. <laughs> take a Viagra. I'm not, I'm not, but I'm not joking. No, I'm not joking. I'm just thinking about his girl's pussy. It's gory as shit. When I was fixing his girl, it's like Stephen King's story with kids. Because I regret putting my hand in the hole like Georgie and it. Oh. And on the real, 
One year ago, I was sucking my dick, that shit was banging. I put my hands on my waist and just move my feet. It's like a river dance. <laughs> and when your girl jumps off, tons of dudes, that shit's major. When her hands alternate between dicks, it looks like she's doing the Macarena. <laughs> I'm your master savior. <laughs> and time. <laughs> yo. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. So yo, yo. Go. Has he been taking MDMA? Cause I ate the Macarena, that's the YMCA. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. And this prick's mum looks like Big Pun and weighs about six ton. <laughs> She's got an addiction to sniffing out Dixon. That gash has worked on more cameras than technicians in Dixon's. She likes to get pissed up and tip punched and kicked in her big cunt. I saw his Mohammed in the alley after one round like Sunny Lisbon. At first I thought she sounded like Ice T, but she was just talking Lipton. After, once I had a quick burn of my piff blunt, she sounded more like Marlon Wayans going, Shitin! Yo, yo, so listen up, you fat Sinbad. <laughs> Your mum's a clapped grim slag with a back skin tag and she walks around wearing a black bin bag looking like a man in drag and she still points you out to people like I'm that kid's dad cause she's, cause she's guano crazy but ba ba shit mad Oh, and she's the fattest hooker in Malaysia and fucking's in her nature. She's out doubling the paper using that pussy as a wager. She's always got scratched knees from sucking off a stranger. She pulled that cock back, squeezed and took every bullet in his chamber. He's the fattest hooker in, she's the fattest hooker in Malaysia. She's out doubling the paper using that pussy as a wager. She's always got scratched knees from sucking off her neighbour. She pulled that cock back, squeezed and took every bullet in his chamber. Yo, see, I'm impressed by sick bars, wordplay, funny jokes and witty schemes. I even big up an opponent for the skill he keeps. Even if he's as sick as me or better, I would still agree. But today I can't do that because you're literally a shit MC. But fair enough, your funny jokes are sufficiently enough for a diss and league. But I write hip hop, drummer bass, grime and even fight some spoken word artillery. And now I'm into battle rap. There's no way that I'll quit and flee. I'm here to put my lyricism into every single lyricism industry. Yeah. Time, time. Let's go, make some noise. Yeah.